splendor of the King. Oh, in majesty, let all the earth rejoice, all the earth rejoice. He wraps himself Next uh, song is actually a medley of uh, two songs. I love you a uh, lot and uh, there is none like you. Okay. Uh, often we sing songs uh, that contains uh, a lot of truth in the scriptures. Okay. And, uh, but there are also songs that actually uh, help us to connect with God. Okay. I call these kind of songs is something like... Uh, up close and personal with God, okay? So, you shall try to reach out to God with this kind of songs, reach out to His heart. Oh my 
Okay, uh, the next song that we are singing is about the goodness of God. Now, uh, when Evelyn, about three weeks ago, when uh, she experienced a uh, sudden pain in the abdomen, okay, we had to uh, go to the hospital for the checks. Okay, and uh, we were worried that it could be appendicitis, which then will require uh, surgery. So, after three days of investigation, it was found that she had another condition called diverticulitis. And out of sheer relief uh, for her, because uh, she, know she doesn't have to go to uh, an operation, okay, I made this promise to God. Okay, I said to God that because uh, you know, I am so relieved that I'm so thankful for uh, that she doesn't have to go to an operation, but instead can be treated by antibiotics. Okay? Uh, I promise God that I will do this song the first opportunity I get to lead the church in worship. Okay, so this is uh, my promise to God and also I believe this song will also be very edifying to you all for you all to remember God is always good to us. Your mercy never fails me. All 
my days have been held in your hand. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, I will sing of the goodness of God. Because all my life you have been faithful. Because all my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. We are thankful, Lord, for all that we have. We thank you for our brothers and sisters. We thank you for the community in Nusa Jaya Methodist Church, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that whenever, Lord, we have some problems with our, within ourselves, Lord, or even within our family members, we can reach out to you, Lord, and we know that you care, Lord. You care for us, Lord. And Lord, please help us to always remember to stay close to you in whatever situation, Lord. For well, Lord, Without you, Lord, there's nothing for us. Truly, Lord, there's none other like you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now shall hand over to the pastor.
Okay, let us continue with our intercessory prayer. First is we want to thank God that the Malaysian government has taken the step to expedite uh, the rolling out of the vaccine for all Malaysians. Thank God for all who have been vaccinated and for those who are still waiting that they will get it soon. We also want to thank God for the many NGOs and churches and other organisations who rose to the occasion to come forward to help the poor and needy during this time of lockdown. We pray that their physical needs will be met for those who face the challenges of physical and verbal abuse. We pray that they will be peoples or, or agencies that will be able to help them. Uh, likewise, for those who are facing mental challenges such as depression. During this time, uh, uh, I mean, MCO uh, pandemic has been like for one, one year plus already. And during this time, there are so many uh, uh, lockdowns and all those things and people's uh, livelihood and, and mental health has uh, been affected. So let us at this time come to the Lord uh, to pray uh, for these people and for, for uh, the government uh, that they will uh, uh, do what is uh, good for the right. Yeah, yeah. So we just, I just uh, let us go to God in prayer. We we'll spend some time. After some time, I will uh, close with prayer. Father, I want to thank you, Father, for this day that you've gathered each one of us, Lord, to come together to worship you, O Lord. Father, at this time, I want to thank, uh, thank you, Father, for, for uh, leading the leaders of Malaysia, O Lord. Father, even though there are times when, when we feel so... Um, confused and, and other things, O oh Lord, about what the government decides. But Lord, we pray, even at this time, we thank you, Lord, that the government uh, has uh, has uh, made plans, O oh Lord, to expedite the vaccination uh, program for, 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 for the people. Father, we pray that um, all this uh, will go on smoothly. Father, for those who are waiting to be vaccinated, they will get their vaccine soon. Father, we pray that uh, all of us, even those who have been vaccinated, will uh, also uh, keep safe a lot and keep well. And whenever uh, if there's a not a need, Lord, that they will not go out. Uh, they will that they will stay home a lot. Father, we pray. Um, Father, we know that you are still in control, Lord. You are still, uh, you take care of your, your people, O oh Lord, Father. Father, we pray for, we thank you, Father, for your grace and mercy, O oh Lord, upon each one of us. And we pray that we will be, ourselves, we ourselves will be diligent, O oh Lord, to also uh, take care of ourselves too, O oh Lord. So, Father, we want to thank you. And also want to, at this time, also pray for all the, the many angels and churches. And, <laughs> organizations who have uh, come forward a lot to um, help those who are poor and needy, those who are in need of, of help. Lord, Father, we thank you, Father, for, for uh, these people. Father, we pray that uh, all this, um, they will be able to meet the physical needs of these people who, 
uh, the poor and needy, needy so Lord. So Father, we thank you, Father, for each one of them. Father, we know that for, for the time of lockdowns where people have to stay at home, Father, we know that there will be challenges at home, O oh Lord, uh, where they cannot go out. Uh, they will be uh, abuse, verbal or physical abuse. Father, we pray. We pray that your mercy will be upon these uh, families, O oh Lord, that, Father, we pray that there will be people who will be able to help these families, Lord Father, for if we know of any uh, families who are facing such challenges, Father, we pray that we will be able to um, uh, call uh, the authorities, Lord, to come and help, oh Lord. So, Father, we just want to lift up these people and those who are uh, mentally depressed, Lord. Father, we also pray that we will be, if we are aware of any of such person, Lord, that we will be able to help them, oh Lord. Uh, that we'll be able to channel them to the to the people that can be able to help them too, oh Lord. So, Father, we pray for your mercy to be upon each and every one of these, your people, oh Lord. We thank you, Father, uh, for, for all of us, Lord, who have... Um, for those of us who have uh, uh, still have uh, work a lot, we want to thank you, Father. For those who of us who are struggling uh, with uh, or finding work, and Father, we pray that your grace will be upon us, Lord. So, Father, we thank you, Father, for listening to our prayers. We thank you, Father, for um, still walking with us and, and helping us to uh, grow our faith in you, O oh Lord. Father, we pray that we continue to trust in you, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now is the time for uh, uh, offering, our tithes and offering. Let us offer to God uh, our tithes and offering. Um, uh, the account is there uh, because we are all worshipping online, so we cannot come physically to uh, give of our physical uh, money. So we, we transfer uh, our givings and tithes online. So that's the account there. So let us um, let us pray. Father, we give thanks to you for all things. Father, we thank you, Father, that you are a generous God. And Father, we thank you for your generosity. So Father, in, in response to your generosity, Father, we offer up these gifts to you, O oh Lord. This gifts made uh, in the form of finance or in the form of the gifts that you've blessed us with to serve you. Father, we offer them up to you, O Lord. Father, we pray that the gifts that you have blessed us with will be used to further your kingdom here on earth, O Lord. And may these gifts that we offer to you, um, uh, let it um, serve you, O Lord in the ministry that you have called us to be in, O Lord. So, Father, we pray that you will accept these gifts that we are offering to you, O Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us sing the doxology. No music, is it? Okay. Uh, no, no, uh, coming up, coming up. Okay. from Sibu, Sarawak. Not the Sibu from Philippines and not the Pulau Sibu in Johor also. <laughs> oh, okay. And I'm also studying in Newcastle University, Medicine, Malaysia. Oh, that's long. Uh, <laughs> and one fun fact about myself. 
I eat a lot of fun, but I don't get fat. Okay, that's fun fact. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so now I'm going to talk about a uh, memorable moment in MNC. Um, to be honest, I can't really pinpoint any things yet because like I have spent like five years, um, yeah, around five years here and there's a lot of things happened here. But basically, I think I enjoy most of the moment here in NMC. Uh, maybe from the sub, from the usual Saturday service, uh, I wish I get involved quite a bit in diff, try, in trying different role. And also, um, yeah, I think one of the, how to say, spotlight is the food after every service. Yeah. And I also enjoy the fellowship a lot with everyone, uncle, aunties, and also um, brother, sister, all the other students in uh, NMC. Yeah, I think that's it. Hi, everyone. Uh, can you all hear me? Okay, good. <laughs> Okay, so for to, so for today's sharing, uh, just let me start off by how do I get to know uh, NNC? Uh, yeah, so before I came to Johor, so I did some online search to find out the church nearby me. And then <laughs> NNC is the only church within walking distance from Horizon Residence, uh, yeah, which is my accommodation uh, in year one. So with number 11 bus as my only transport, so it seems that like I have no other choice. Although the idea that I have to attend an English speaking church is actually quite daunting for me because I barely speak English in the first 90 years, 19 years of my life. But little did I know that God has a wonderful curricul curriculum for me here. So Looking back the five years here in M NMC, uh, I just want to share with you how much grace and mercy God has bestowed on, upon me that despite I being a slow learner, I, I think I have grown quite a bit in a few aspects. So the first thing is about my understanding of Christianity. So growing up in the Christian background, I always assumed that I know what Christianity is without really uh, thinking much about it. Uh, meaning or significance. Yet, uh, through a lot of discussion uh, during DG and SM sessions, uh, my understanding was being challenged. And to my horror, I find that most of the stuff that I believe in is either not really based on uh, biblical teaching or just stay at superficial form without knowing the true significance. But thanks God for his word in the Bible and many learning resources resources here, I get to know more about the power of the gospel, the finishing work of Christ, and also the sanctification work of Holy Spirit. And this does renew and strengthen my conviction in Christ. And at the same time, I also learn to be more critical about everything I do uh, as a Christian so that I can live as an authentic disciple. And second area that I have grown in is about living in a Christian community. Um, before this, I never stayed in a fellowship for long, for I always felt distant from others, and I don't really think that my presence matters to anybody. But here in DG and SM, I get to observe and experience deep relationship building among brother and sister in Christ, to know how is it like to care for each other, and to be concerned about things that are deep in human heart instead of just the trivial matter. And to be honest, this kind of relationship building is still quite frightening for me most of the time, but I do see the significance and I'm still learning to work on it. So, and besides, with many different opportunities to serve here, um, such as providing refreshment, doing uh, AV, uh, even sharing on the topic. I saw learn to offer whatever I have and let God to work through me, uh, regardless of my weaknesses and lacking of skills. Um, so by God's grace, I think I have gained much more through serving than what I tried to give. 
And during this five year journey, there are also a couple of people that I would like to thank for. And first one would be Uncle Sito, who is the senior in the walk with Christ. Uh, I've learned a lot from his uh, spiritual insight, um, commitment to, to Christ, uh, passion in edifying the church through education. And also thank, thank, thanks Uncle Sito for pushing me to do a lot of stuff, which are usually quite tough, but it does help me to grow. And also I would like to thank uh, my fellow DG members for the friendship that we have built and strengthened over these five years. And thank you for the openness that we can share our inner thought, um, struggles, laughter, and tears to each other. And thank you for the memories that we have created together. My uni life could have been dull and boring if you all are not here. And also thank you for SM people, uh, in particular, Bernard, Nicholas, and Kevin. Uh, thank you for the passion for the word of God and emphasis on the priority of the teaching. Uh, I think I believe many of us have been greatly edified by that. And also thank you for the church uncles and aunties. Thank you all for the hospitality and food that you have graciously offered to us. And also especially thank you Uncle Terence, Auntie Irene, Uncle Pan and Auntie Carol for letting me to be part of foster family in the first two years. And there are people who I didn't get to mention, but I would like to thank you for all the big and small things that you have done for me. I might have forgotten the details, but God will surely remember this. And last but not least, I, will, I want to thank, give thanks to God for he's the one who uses all these people in NMC and various circumstances to teach me and mold me so that I can be nearer to him and learn to be more like him. So all glory and honor to him. Amen. Let's hear from Edwin, the leader of the Shiloh group. In the Old Testament time, before the first temple was built, in Jerusalem by King Solomon, the whole congregation of Israel assembled together at Shiloh to worship God. Today, Shiloh SG resembles a group of like-minded Christians from various denominations and churches coming together to fellowship, study the Word of God, and intercede for one another. Shiloh is a closely bonded community where we place our interests for each other above ourselves. On June 15 is Shiloh's third year anniversary. I take the opportunity to invite everyone who do not belong to a small group to join us. We held our first gathering on 15 June 2018 to get to know each other and to briefly discuss how we intend to move forward. In fact, our first Shiloh meeting was held on 19th August 2018 at one of our members' house. We had an average bi-weekly membership of eight members and majority were not from NMC worshippers. Shiloh was then an unofficial NMC study group. We believe that fellowship is the sharing together in a common life with other believers through relationship with God through Jesus Christ. We take fellowship seriously First and foremost, it is a relationship rather than an activity. To kick off our Bible study, we started with Rick Warren's book, The Purpose Driven Life. When we completed this book, we went on to The Good and Beautiful Life by James Bryan Smith. We conducted our sessions at Nusa Jaya Methodist Church as well as in members' homes. Rather than sticking to just traditional methods of studying the Bible. We also resorted to using questionnaires, experiential activities, video analysis, reflections, and small group discussions to bring out the learnings from the Bible in an interesting way. We organized caroling for the East Ledang community, ending with a Christmas celebration dinner at one of our members' home. During the pandemic, we resorted to meeting virtually 
some of us in Johor, Singapore and Sydney had not met personally, but only through our Zoom meetings. We were called to be doers rather than just hearers of the word. Shiloh members partnered with Social Concern Ministry and adopted two Iban single parent families. We shared the cost of groceries, visited and interacted with them. Let's hear what some of our members have got to say. Greetings in Jesus' name. My name is Judy Ng. I joined SG Silo Group recently. It's nice to be in the group learning to grow in the Lord and getting to know our fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. We have Bible study on the book of Genesis. God has given us His Word for a light to shine upon our path. As we meditate His Word, we may find in it the light that shines more on us. Majority of the brothers and sisters are spiritually gifted. Their sharing were very encouraging too. I appreciate the prayers, worship, songs and music and the quality time we spend. It's very heartwarming and I do thank God for the joy of it. May the Lord fill each day with the joy of knowing Him and knowing the love of our brothers and sisters in Christ. I hope that I can continue to grow spiritually in this SG group. Good morning. I'm Nancy to share from Charlotte Group. Thank you, Andrew and uh, Stephen. God has blessed us with you, who not only instruct us clearly, but able to provoke us with probing questions that we can derive answers. And thank God, even though we are not sure, we still respond and we ask questions when in doubt. Most importantly, I think you have enabled us to think through and it's not just head knowledge, but heart application. It's really encouraging when the, the group shares from their heart experiences that they have as well as lessons that they've learned from this group. Praise the Lord for this encouragement. A very special mention that I would like to, make, to say is um, a very special mention, I think, to Stephen, our creative expert, IT expert. He has really taken pains to come up with beautifully colorful slides, which are stimulating, readable, but for us, easy to follow. Grateful thanks. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Stephen. May I take this opportunity also to introduce a newcomer from Sydney. She says, Nancy, shine to appear lot. So here am I to convey her thankfulness to be in this group. She is very comfortable and she has learned all glory to God. Amen. I'm Patricia Ang, and I'm glad to join Shiloh Bible Study Group, invited by Sister Meili, who is also my longtime bosom friend. And therefore, I'd like to, I'd like to thank Sister Meili, as it has given me the opportunity to know the rest of the members in the group. I've learned so much from the Bible studies led by Brother Andrew, and also group sharings by the rest of the members 
including pastor. I remember joining the group study from the book of James and now the book of Gen Genesis. It gave me a lot of insights into the depths of the Bible and hope to delve deeper in his words. I really appreciate for having me in the group. Thank you. We thank Reverend Choi Quinn for acting as our ever-present guiding star and facilitator. We welcome anyone, regardless of age, church, or denomination to join us. Let's grow together with the Bible as our source. You can contact Edwin or any of the Shiloh members. Looking forward, we see you joining us. Hey.